Hey everybody, here's a Sylvania Smartbook running Android 2.2. I do have all the files to reinstall Windows CE if you like. Uh, if you prefer, you could always reinstall it later. So I'll go ahead and give it a quick look at the outside of the machine. As you can see, there's some scuff marks on there. The rest of the machine is in pretty good condition. So I'll give you a quick look at that too. Alright, on the inside, oh, at the bottom. On the inside, keyboard is in good condition, it doesn't have any finger wear marks. And the screen is also in good condition, it doesn't have any scuffs or scrapes. So I've already pre-booted this machine. Uh, this machine takes about a minute to a minute and a half to boot with Android. Uh, so I've already pre-booted it, so I'll just wake it up. This is your slide to unlock screen. So what you do is you'll just take your cursor, put it down on the slide tile, click, slide over, and you're at your desktop. So uh, I'll, first I'll show you that the USB ports are working. So I have my USB mouse here. Go ahead and plug it in all the ports, show you that all of them are working. As you can see up here on the taskbar, the mouse is working. Again, the mouse is working. All right, and the last one is on the back. As you see, the mouse is still working, so all the USB ports are working. Give you a quick look. Uh, here, I'll give you a better look at the screen, rather. Alright, so here's your basic desktop. You have three pages to put all your apps. Uh, you have an app tray right here, which you can use your touchpad or your mouse. You can just click it. You can find uh, the app that you want to put on your desktop or use. You can also use your keys to move around, so up, down, left, right, stuff like that. And if you find one you want to run, you can just press enter or click with your mouse or click with your touchpad. So just click the enter button. This is the terminal. I'll go ahead and show you that it does, uh, that it is in fact rooted. So I'll just type in SU, press enter, and you probably can't see this, but that little notification was telling me that I have super user access, which means that it is rooted. Let's see a little root sign right here in the bottom right hand side. Kind of hard to see. But... Right, I'll go ahead and back out of here. Press escape. Uh, so basically, with super root or uh, being rooted means it, that you can install any app that you want. This netbook does not have Google Play and it does not have YouTube. So if you if there's a uh, app that you want to install, you're going to have to find it on the internet. You can download it and install it manually. Um, go ahead and show you. Here's your home button. Here's your Wi-Fi connection button, which you can uh, change your Wi-Fi settings by clicking on the, either the settings here and finding the Wi-Fi or just going directly to the Wi-Fi through through this uh, tile right here. Here's the battery icon. Uh, the thing about this version of Android and this netbook is there's a bug between them and it will always tell you that your battery is at 100% when in fact your battery may be at 50, 60, 70%. Um, it's just a bug between the, the uh, netbook and the uh, version of Android. So that's just something you're going to have to look past or um, I guess have to reinstall Windows. If you... So here's your clock. Here's your icon that lets you take uh, pictures of the desktop. So anything or rather anything that's on the screen. So say if you're running a Dolphin browser here, anything that's on there you can take a picture of. Here's your up and down volume keys. 
here's your configuration uh, panel. Depending on what app you're running, it'll give you different settings. Since I'm on the desktop, uh, it'll give me the option to add uh, an app to the desktop, change my wallpaper, search, uh, you know, things of that nature. So depending on the app, uh, you have different options. Here's your back button. All right, so I'll go ahead and show you uh, the Dolphin browser. Go ahead and double click on it. Let it load. And go ahead and browse to the website so you can kind of check out the browsing speed here. And this is running on Wi Fi. So here's eBay Mobile. Uh, normally it's going to take you to a mobile website because these web pages think that they have a phone connecting to it. So that it thinks that this is an Android phone. So most of the time they'll be mobile, which is better anyway because it's faster. So I'll go ahead and click on more. Scroll down, see what we got here. There's some daily deals. Alright, so you can see the browsing speed is not too bad. It's just dependent on what site you go to. Uh, more graphically rich sites are going to take longer to load. I'll go to one now. Or I'll go to a website to show you a different website. Go Nintendo.com. This is just a Nintendo blog. Just wait for it to load up a little more. So, as you can see, the browsing speed is pretty good. It's not the most powerful uh, netbook that was ever released, but it's not bad for browsing. I'll go back to the desktop here. All right, I'm going to go ahead and show you some of the uh, media functions that it has. Go to my file explorer right here. And to my SD card, which I have installed already. Uh, we'll go ahead and go to pictures. Here's some pictures of the, uh, of the eBay auction that I already have online. As you can see, I took that earlier, put that on here. Alright, go ahead and show you some music files that I have on here. Alright, there goes some music, so I'll go ahead and show you some video playback. I'll go back to my file explorer because it took me out of it. Right, I'm going to open that video file. Use ES Video Player. Go ahead and skip ahead a little bit. Skip a little bit more, see some more action.
as you can see there's a little bit of lag there we're going to escape out of that and uh, that's pretty much it um, shut down is just like the phone just hold the power button or click it rather and uh, power off and that's it